think we, and if we do it correctly, like we really drop into the stillness and there's no ripple or if what comes is peaceful or like positive, if what comes is positive or peaceful or nothing, it means that the system agrees. It says, yeah, yeah. Uh, if there is any objection or stirring, it means that the system doesn't agree with it. And this part of awareness is that why we poke at the story we already know is that to make it super conscious and to uh, unpack it, uh, instead of being a story, to be four words on the screen, plus some memory, plus a feeling, to deconstruct this because the story is, is a belief. So we want to, to investigate it so thoroughly to the point that we see that it is not true. And that that is not me. Because usually this deficiency identity, they say, I am not good enough. So to realize it's not true that not good enough. And also to realize that I am not this I, that is not good enough. Thanks, uh, Mihai. That, I feel better that I kind of have that. Yeah correct to understand and what what happens it seems like when people do that and i know this is new this is i just bring this up but i noticed that if you stay uh, let's say systematic about this deprogramming also out of this deficiency identity there are some patterns that are very uh, they are not empowered uh, so I would do in reverse inquiry like it's so it's uh, I can I can uh, I can speak up I can I can say what bothers me. These are kind of repression inquiries, but still using uh, reverse inquiry. I can speak up what bothers me. I can I can speak up. I even if he may she may get upset. I can I can or fun stuff. I can go to her and tell her that I I like her. I can totally go to her to her like her. I'm not afraid to give her this love note. So uh, this is going to bring all of these fears, relational fears, like, oh no. I, I work with a person now, with a guy. He is an awesome guy and he's afraid to date for four years and for a long time. And so we do this, bring up the dating site and bring up this. I'm not afraid to, I'm not afraid. I can totally go out and date. I'm comfortable dating, meeting women. And we'll come, no, 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 I'm afraid, I'm afraid, no, no, be careful, no, they will see that I'm not good enough, okay, what do I get out of believing that, oh, I avoid to get hurt, uh, they will see me, they will reject me, I'm afraid they will reject me, okay, it's okay if they reject me, no, 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 I'm afraid, I'm afraid. So I'm using reverse inquiry all the time to bring to awareness this, all this fear, which otherwise will, will just be in the background, driving the show all the time, but he's not aware of it. He is it, yeah? So we are exploring our operating systems, bring them to the light. And what I notice with myself and others, at some point, the response changes. If I, you know, in the past, I, if I did the inquiry, I can uh, feel fully my grief and share it with others. I can fully feel and share sadness. My system would have said, no, 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 no. I have to hide, I have to, be, I have to hide, be strong, don't feel. Now, if I do this inquiry, I can feel fully and share my sadness with others. It would be like, yeah, I've done it, I've done it. Yes, I've done it, man, fuck, of course. So somehow something changed. So the reverse inquiry I'm going to tell me, oh, dude, I don't have a problem about this. I don't need to work on my uh, not, not being authentic with my feelings because I'm authentic with my feelings. I need to look at something else. So the reverse inquiry 
what comes up will show you, oh, okay, this is good. Let's move on. 